Hi, welcome to MLRIT. This is Dr. Chiranjeevi Manike, Professor and Head of Data Science and Cyber Security, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. In this video lecture series, I am going to teach uh, data mining as per our syllabus. So, before we move on to the discussion, let us uh, see what we are going to discuss in this uh, lecture. So, we are going to discuss the relationship between the data, information and knowledge. Then we will see the definition of data mining. Then we need, uh, we are going to discuss why we need to do the data mining and what kind of data can be mined and what kind of uh, patterns can be mined from the data and what is correlated, what is the interrelationship between the different fields like what are the technologies are used, what kind of applications are mainly targeted. So first, if you look at this data, information, knowledge, wisdom pyramid, these terms Data, information and knowledge mainly these terms are often used interchangeably. However, these terms represent different stages of uh, value creation that is from data to decision making. So, let us see one by one to get much clarity of what is data, what is information and knowledge and then wisdom. First, let us see what is a data. It is a collection of raw facts or unorganized form. So, let us take one simple example in this to understand much better. Like there are numbers like 3, 6, 9, 12 and some names, animal names, cat, dog, gerbil, rabbit, cockato and there are some values, float values 161.2, 175 like this. These are just numbers and text, it does not give any meaning unless until we add some meaning or a context, it is very uh, difficult to understand. Like suppose if you take the, the first line 3, 6, 9, 12, it could be anything, right? The 3 could be anything, 6 or 9 or 12. And the second line, the names of animals like a cat, dog, this gives little information but still incomplete and 161.2, 175.2 this also it number could be anything. It could be a height of a student or it could be a height of a table or it could be anything. So, unless until we add the meaning or a context it does not make sense. The 3, 6, 9, 12 could be the first four answers in the three table the cat, dog, get, gerbil, rabbit and cockato, these could be a list of household pets and the numbers like 161.2 like all these could be heights of a 15 years old students in a class. So, let us take another example like 120, 120, so this one. In this, it is just a sequence of numbers without apparent importance. But if you add a context, if you view this in the context of this is a date, then it will be very easy to recognize 12th of January 2012. So, then information, if you put the information into the equation, it would be look like this. So, data plus meaning becomes information. Like this, the same example like a previous uh, slide and three these numbers, text, etc. If you could say like 3, 6, 9 and 12 are the first four answers in the 3x table, 3, uh, three table, the cat, dog, get bill, rabbit and cockato is a list of household pets and then the floating values or the heights of 15 year old students. So, that does not give any meaning. So, then another thing knowledge, the next level. If you put knowledge into the equation, it would be look like this. Information plus application are used that is equal to knowledge. So, let us take the same example again. And this is the information we, uh, we got by adding the context like we said the 3, 6, 9, 12 are the first four answers in the 3 table and etc. 
and from this information and we could derive the knowledge like the 4, 8, 12 and 16 are the first 4 answers in the 4 table because because 3, 6, 9, 9 and 12 those are the numbers in the 3 table that starts 3 and goes up in 3's and the 4 table must also start at 4 and go up in 4's. So, that is the knowledge we obtain from the this information. So, similarly, the next based on this next information, we could obtain the knowledge like a lion is not a household pet as it is not in the list. This one based on the second information, this is the second information. So, we could obtain the knowledge a lion is not a household pet as it is not in the list and it lives in the wild. And based on the third information, we could say like the, the tallest student is or the tallest student height in a class is 175.3 centimeters. So, this is the knowledge extracted from the information. And then the top of on the top of this pyramid, we have wisdom. So, we, we must answer the questions such as why do something and what is best. So, we could also define this wisdom is a knowledge applied in action. So, we will see in couple of minutes, we will see the uh, few examples where I will explain what is data in each example, what is uh, information, what is knowledge and wisdom. If you look at this image, so what can you tell about this picture? If you look at the data related to this one, it is a 6 by 640 by 640 a pixel image. So, that is the data we have. And if you see the information related to this, it is a cat. And the knowledge is, it is my neighbor's cat. This is very simple example. And let, let us take one more example like finance example, financial planning. So, what data we are going to use that is represented as a fa raw fact and how this, inf uh, this data could be processed to convert into the information. So, the raw data consists of uh, individual financial transactions and records such as sales invoice, exp expense uh, receipts, payroll records and asset valuations. And the information that is obtained from this data like financial data is organized and structured into financial statements and reports providing insights into metrics like uh, revenue, net income, cash flow, gross margin and the ROA across the business units and the time periods. And if, if I look at the knowledge which is uh, extracted from that uh, this financial data that is the information whatever we uh, got. Analyzing and interpreting financial information uncovers the patterns such as most profitable product lines, the cost drivers and the key factors impacting the revenue and expenses. And the wisdom understanding the company's financial health and market conditions lets the CFO make the informed decisions to prioritize the investments, manage expenses and allocate the resources effectively to maximize the profitability and growth. So, let us see one more uh, example that is in uh, everyday life that is fitness tracking. So, we almost wear the smart watches. The smart watches collects the raw data such as a number of steps taken, heart rate and the sleep duration etc. So, with this data, this application, the smart watch application organizes and structures the data and displaying it in a compre comprehensible format such as a daily step count, average heart rate and hours of sleep for night. So, we understand by seeing this information, we understand like suppose if you take uh, like a daily a step count, right? So, we understand that number then the average heart rate and the 
how many hours of sleep per night and if you look at the application right this all this information could be displayed right in this format like a heart rate so from the january month to the september month and the steps count right every day like this and the sleep duration like all this information would be uh, organized analyzed and displayed in the application so this is the information that is uh, obtained from the data that is collected by the smartwatch sensors and then see the knowledge what kind of knowledge could be obtained with this so analyzing and interpreting the information that is may reveal the patterns such as like the in the previous diagram we we saw uh, the data is represented in the form of bar charts pie charts and the line graphs etc so we could see like increased the step count leading to improved uh, sleep quantity or a correlation between the heart rate and the uh, workout intensities and the wisdom like understanding these patterns let you make informed decisions like about adjusting your exercises exercise routine uh, sleep habits and other lifestyle factors to improve your health and uh, fitness then coming to we discussed like what is the relationship between the data information and knowledge and before we discuss what is the definition of data mining so first we should understand why data mining so because of the advancements in the technology information technology there is an explosive growth of data that is from terabytes to the petabytes so the data collection because of the availability of data collection and the data availability and the automated data collection tools databases internet world wide web computerized so that made the computerized society there are major sources of abundant data like business if you take web and the e-commerce so they record the user behavior and they would record the transactions made done by the customers and if you see the stock market like so what is the opening price what is the closing price what is the maximum price what is the max and the low price on that particular day of that particular stock and that is a huge data being generated daily and in the science like a remote sensing bioinformatics being generating the huge volumes of data and the scientific simulations we will see in the next slide the the amount of data being generated by the scientific simulations and society and everyone that is like a news a digital cameras youtube we are uploading the videos we are taking photographs we are sending text messages etc and if you look at this pie chart and to understand what is happening in the internet in a minute it's not one hour data it's not a one day data it is a data like in a minute in internet you please check the, the few examples like the how many google searches in a minute there are approximately 2.4 million google searches and the 6 lakhs 90 thousand hours video being uploaded in youtube and 3 lakh 47222 tweets in a minute there are many other so these are all causing the generation of huge abundant volumes of data and there are some like idcs they have predicted the data by 2025 so we are going to have the digital universe more than 175 gigabytes of data so if you see this the number expanded form of this number in bytes you would understand how huge this data is so let us see like how suppose if this gigabytes right one gigabyte of data is if you convert into the uh, bytes and how big that number even exabytes petabytes terabytes so this much the huge volume even a uh, few other they have predicted more than 181 gigabytes of data we are going to be generate in 2025 and this is another scientific experiment this is a lhc largest hydrogen collider this world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator which is in geneva it generates 
more than 200 petabytes per day per, sorry per year so they have their own data center to capture all this data and to process and analyze